Begin by selecting 2D Milling 2D Contour. Click on Library and select or create a chamfer mill. You can also use a spot drill, which people sometimes use to deburr sharp edges. If you do use a chamfer mill, be sure to set the tip diameter to zero if it's a pointed tool. If a chamfer exists on the part model, select the lower edge of the chamfer and pay attention to your cut direction like you would with any 2D contour toolpath to control whether you're climb or conventional milling. In the Passes tab, make sure the chamfer option is enabled and enter a chamfer tip offset value. For example, I'll put in a value of 75 thousandths. What this does is shift the tool tip down so you're not cutting on the tip of the tool. This prevents a possible burr and the tool just cuts a lot better farther out on the diameter. Here's a simulation that shows the tool on the chamfer. Let me zoom up here and notice how the tool is shifted down by the chamfer tip offset value. Now let's say I want to deburr the inside edges of these pockets where there's no chamfer on the model. It's really easy to do. We proceed like we did before. Go ahead and select uh, 2D Milling 2D Contour. Pick the sharp edges that you want to deburr. Then go to the Passes tab. Again, make sure chamfer is active. Set a chamfer tip offset value, but also set a chamfer width. This is the size of the chamfer as viewed from the XY cutting plane. I'll use 10 thousandths in this example, so the results are easier to see. A value between 5 and 10 thou is pretty common for deburring. Now what I'll do now is do a section view of the part and flip normal to that view, simulate the tool path, and drag the tool over to the edge. I'm going to zoom way up here so you can see that the tool machines into the sharp edge of the part. Yeah, see that? Now I'll do a solid simulation of all the tool paths. And I'll drag the slider bar over to the start of the chamfer paths and let it play from there. That's all there is to it. Just select the bottom edge of the chamfer if there's a chamfer on the model. Make sure the chamfer function is enabled. Always enter a chamfer tip offset value so you're not cutting with the tip of the tool. And also enter a chamfer width if you're deburring or chamfering a sharp edge.